Welcome to coaching number three. This episode is going to be a little bit shorter. We're going to be talking about the reality of training and the goals that you set for your students. So I mentioned this way back in one of the earlier videos, but very occasionally it is important to throw out the facts and throw out the science and actually see what the reality is. Um, you know, ignoring the facts sometimes is a good way to test your boundaries and challenge yourself or your students. So, for instance, you can put some ridiculous goals and targets in. As long as you have the time and you're able to plan it correctly, you can put some very, very, you can put some crazy, crazy stuff in and you'll never know whether you're able to do it or your students are never going to be able to know whether they're able to do it or not um, unless you try. So sometimes you want, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, too difficult in terms of what skill wise what, what you have to do, but you know, in, in big long endurance based things or, you know, really, really strength based or power based stuff, um, you can create some crazy programming and crazy, you know, things for your classes. So as an example, you can put in some ridiculous goals and targets and challenges. Um, some things that you don't actually even know whether they're possible or not. As the coach, maybe you don't know whether they're possible or not. Um, and the idea for this is you're never going to know whether you are able to do something or not until you try. And this is for your students as well. So for instance, you know, you, you could get all of your students to do one pull up every minute. But what they don't realize is you're going to do that for an hour, okay? And doing pull ups for an hour is actually very exhausting. Uh, but when you think about it, it is only 60 pull ups, okay? So 60 pull ups, uh, the volume over an hour is not that much, but it is going to be very hard to remain or maintain your focus and maintain over a complete hour just doing that one pull up every single minute. So lastly, I want to say that one of the other big reasons for doing this type of training is that it is better preparation for the real world. Okay, so if you've managed to, you know, climb up onto a bar a thousand times, okay, so you've managed to do that over the course of 12 hours, you've set a challenge to yourself that you're going to you know, do a thousand pull-ups. Now, if you are able to do that or you've gone you know, to 500, 600, 700, 800, and you've reached the absolute limits of your endurance and you've really pushed yourself, when that freak moment comes along in the real life and you know, real world situation where you know, you have to climb up onto a bar for some unknown reason, zombies are now chasing you. Um, you know that you are now able to do this. You know, you know for a fact that you did a thousand, you know, in one session when you were absolutely drained. Now you need it. Now you have to get up, you know, save your lifetime. Now you are much, much better prepared to be able to do that motion. You're better prepared for the real world situation where you know, you, you've got a bit of strength, you've got a little bit of power, and you know, you're not as drained as you were.